Hey there, fellow Steel Stud Framer. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you things that not even the most skilled journeymen know about framing metal soffits. So stay tuned, watch the entire video, because you're not gonna wanna miss this. So this is the front of a building, right? The, uh, and you have your, your this is your, ex your exterior wall right here. This is your parapet, okay? Right? Parapet. Exterior wall right there. So this is your roof up here, right? And you have your Q deck and now you need to close in this area. If you're lucky, all right, the elevation is gonna be like down here, okay? Like in the wall somewhere. So you can then ang angle it, right? And run your, um, your ceiling underneath. <clears throat> But most of the time, most of the time, that's not the case. The drawwall is going to have to finish tight to underneath the I beam and and tight up the front, and it's going to it's going to line up to the parapet. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, if you're thinking about going backwards here, you're you're going to have to. <clears throat> Uh, like run an angle at the bottom here. Okay, and you can fasten in this way and then catch it again up this way, okay, on the parapet. Um, a lot, like very rarely, depending on how big the beam is, do you have to frame it out. But say you do have to frame it out, it's just gonna be angle, angle, and then you can use the, the hat track in between for your studs, okay, going this way. Right, that's what that is. Uh, so, like I was saying before, you 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 want to kind of, if you can, always leave a little bit out so you have a, have a you can fasten up this way, okay? Uh, because it, it's gonna be like, and then you have your joint on the top up here, okay? So you can pull the angle out a little bit. There's different types of angle you can get. You can get like two inch, four inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, or inch and a quarter, or whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> so get what you get what you need, and and just make sure to keep this plane nice, right? And then this is where the the ceiling comes in, where we're gonna run your your furring bar. Okay, this is where like the bulkhead comes in, right? You can drop. Drop a bulkhead in front of the beam, right? And the bulkhead in front of the beam, sorry. Okay, if you understand what I mean, bulkheads, that's it. And then you angle in front of the bulkhead, and then your hat track goes in between. Okay. And then you run your, your, your furring bar brace this way. And then your brace is up to the Q deck. Okay, braces every every two, four feet, every four feet. That's when you have to run tight to your iron, okay? You just build up inside bulkheads that you won't see. And these bulkheads you don't have to be every 16 inch centers, like two foot centers, okay? Two foot center. Okay, because they're, they're never going to be drywalled or anything like that. So you don't need to have one every 16 inches, right? It's just a support it's a, to angle to get the ceiling in. The top track at the top, you're going to you're going to either use um, like self drilling weight, like framing screws, or you're going to use Hilti shots or some sort of um, like, you know, some sort of direct fastening tool, right? You're probably going to end up using like three and five eighths or or two inch, okay, uh, something small for these bulkheads. And this is like I saying, this is Q deck, right? It's going to look like this. So there's a couple things to, you need to know. Let's draw a bigger <laughs> version. Okay, so. So what happens if the track doesn't land on the rib? <clears throat> okay, because sometimes your 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 track is going to end up in the middle or offset. Okay, and you're like it's pretty flimsy and weak. So 
this is where we build clips. You take a you take a stud, and you and you cut it. You just you cut a stud to fit in, okay? You, and you like you cut the flange so it's flat, right? And then the the actual stud goes in here, so it's nice and strong, and it's flat. Sorry, the whole way, of course. It's just it's this is just where the stud is, and you fasten it in, okay? And then your track will go have something to screw to, okay? Hopefully you understand that part. Um, and sometimes this Q deck is filled with concrete, right? So that's when you have to use the Hilti shots. And then, yeah, so then it's just like a, like a wall that drops down, right? So then this, you put your stud in and you screw your bottom track in to elevation. You can also add kickers back to the beam, right? Kickers for bracing, okay? Where you just screw them in. Hey, you can brace these back to the beam with just with just kickers running back, okay? You know, which is just the stud with the with, with st stud cut and bent over, so you can uh, you can shoot it to the beam. You don't want to miss out on these other two videos in the series. The top one, I'll show you actual footage from my real life job, and the video down on the bottom there, I'll go into detail on how you can understand reading the blueprints. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you in the next video.